Well, we touched up on this a little bit uh, on the first Crash and Burn, but it's an album that did, just dropped. Yeah. Matter of fact, Friday, I believe. Yeah, Friday morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's Jay Electronica. Yeah. Album. Yeah. A written testament. A testimony. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What featuring Jay Z, yeah, featuring I guess the majority uh, really should have been like a double, uh, I guess a what you called it, like a Watch the Throne, yeah, like a of. Watch the Throne, yeah. Cause hell, he was on the majority of the album too. Yeah, he was. I think hell, Jay Z kind of outshined him on his. Own. Yeah, kind of. He did. <laughs> he did. And I, and I told, I told my old boy Big Mike, shout out, shout out Stack. You know what I'm saying? Cause I. I told him early. I think I made a post. And I was like, "Yo, Jay sound like he been sparring in the bathroom uh, in the yeah. mirror with with reasonable yeah. down hole." Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. And you know, I, I was fast forwarding a lot of Jay Electronica's verses just to hear Jay. <laughs> and my old boy, you know what I'm saying. Big Mike told me the next night he was like, "Yo, it was a dude on Twitter." <laughs> that took all the Jay Electronica's verses off and just made uh, a Jay Z album. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And he even he even renamed it or whatever. He said he didn't save the link, but there's a link out there on Twitter with just the album of, of whole <laughs> and whole verses. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was disappointed. I was extremely disappointed because a yeah. lot of those verses sound like. 2013 throwaway 14, verses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really did. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, look, man, I, I get that you, you know, you a believer and you heavy into what you believe in. And, you know, you want to be excited and you want to let others know. But he, even on his album, it seems like he's trying to force his belief a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Even with some of the songs coming in. Or whatever, you know. Jay is speaking some knowledge too, but yeah. Jay's don't sound like Jay sounds like you know. what I'm saying he's uh he's proud of of what where he is right now. Yeah. In in Jay Electronica just sounds like you know. Well, let me. Yeah. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Finish. Finish, finish your thought, man. Yeah. No, nah, but he, he, he. You know, I told I told my my boy Big Mike too. I was like, yo, that nigga just should have wrote a book. <laughs> let me you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Let me let me speak on that, man. Yeah. I'm I'm you know what I'm saying more I guess in line with the same faith as, you know, J Electronics. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just because you put, you know, a bunch of you know, you say you know, you, you put a bunch of uh allies in there, you put a bunch of a uh, humdooly and all that yeah. in there. That, that they <laughs> don't that don't make it you know, make it good. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. don't make it stick. He, yeah, yeah. You know, when, yeah. when he was doing stuff, when he was doing it back in 2013, 14. The Exhibit A and all of that. Yeah, it's like, he, he, it, it, uh, no, I proud. Guess it was like, yeah, he it was, was more, more proud. He had, he had more passion to it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But, you know, when he was doing it, on this album, he sound more like force, like he was forcing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, you know, it, yeah. like okay, let me just throw this in here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let me just throw Miss, uh, you know, Minister Farrakhan in here. Yeah, just to you know, just to make it sound like, you know, yeah. if you compare like, like I, I'm gonna give a comparison to this because I was thinking this too. You know, because uh, you know, we, we gave this album. Uh, album of the year last year, you know, the Freddie Gibbs. Absolutely. On that um black black uh was it black tummy flat flat tummy flat T. Tummy T, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When Freddie Gibbs was speaking shit on flat flat tummy T, you can really feel that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you know, it gave it it, it gives you like a shock value or whatnot. Very much so. But when Jay Electronica was saying some of the stuff on his song, even when I was listening to it, I was like, okay, I didn't really, I didn't really feel it. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't really hit me like that. Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah. yeah I can see exactly what you're saying on that. Yeah, it, and it, it you know, like, even with the, um, I don't mean to cut you, but, no, uh, you know, it, it was a, a line 
you know, speaking about the synagogue synagogue of Satan. Yeah. The synagogue of Satan want me to hang by my collar, but all praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rosenberg, you know, Peter Rosenberg for High 97, for those who don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Ebro in the morning got on there. He was offended by it, you know. He said, you know, as a Jew, it puts me in a bad position. I can't ignore the fact that I instantly felt pain of discomfort and offense and basically, you know, uh, sell out my culture or can be accused of being a Jew media hating on this man. But this is how I felt. The line offended me, you know. And soon after, Peter Rosenberg, you know, he realized, you know, he quoted the wrong lyric, you know, and he apologized for it, you know, about the synagogue of Satan, you know, because it was actually um, a term from the New Testament. Yeah, exactly. He see, he he. Yeah, I, I I don't agree with that one, bro. Yeah, you know, but yeah, yeah, he's, you he know, said he made a mistake. Yeah, he yeah, made a mistake. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't agree with you know how he took it and all of that, yeah. but um, you know, uh, even the way that you know. Jay responded to that was, you know, he said, oh, and by the way, if you really want to get into it, we are willing to hold a public discussion in public forum on the synagogue of Satan and its meaning. And any scholars of uh, theoretically uh, you would would like to bring until this, you know, and put in capital STFU, you know, shut the fuck up <laughs> or whatever, you know, and. Peter Rosenberg responded, you know, I have a public forum every day. If you want to talk, feel free. You know, I am not only the good, I'm not only the good supportive hip hop loving person who was taken back, you know, taken aback by some of the bars. Happily discuss, you know, to discuss it at any time or whatever. But, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I, I, I see, uh, you know, from both angles, a, a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a wrong, mm -hmm. and, you know, that was taken or whatever, but, you know, even on that end, you know, hold, holding a, a public, dis, you know, discussion, you know, a, a form, nigga, we've been waiting for a public album for how many years? <laughs> you just all of a sudden, you know, ready to have a public discussion about a, you know, a, a bar, all of it. Nigga, when's the last time? I, I don't even know who... I haven't seen B Dot or none of them niggas do an interview with Jay Electronica. I ain't seen them on uh uh Deces and Mero, uh nah. nobody. Nigga, who yeah. wh nigga, when have you done an interview? Yeah, with anybody. Over, he's been over there in London. That's yeah. where he, was, he he's been at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't know, man. I'm 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 a taking back, you know what I'm saying? And even on the, you know, uh some of them songs on there was kind of questionable. You know, one of the songs, the title's name is The Ghost of Soldier Slim. Oh, you're talking, yeah, the, 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 the second, second. Why'd y'all name it that? The Ghost of Soldier Slim. And, and you know, I understand yeah. on, on Jay Electronica's portion, but even on Jay's portion, like, I don't understand the, uh, the line between, you know, the comparison between Jay and New Orleans. I understand, yeah, Beyonce's mm. family is from New Orleans. She probably told him, you know, a few things about it or whatever, but right. you know what I'm saying? Um, that song on there, what's it called? Get the Gat, Get the Gat, that that new it, it's an old New Orleans chat song or whatever. Or chant song. Yeah, or whatever. I, I can't cause cause I only listened to it. Like, cause it just came out, so I only yeah. heard it like maybe once. So I, I really is is not is you know yeah not really familiar to me right now because I ain't really heard it yeah but, it's, it's it's like you know yeah and I wanted I wanted to say this too like it just you know a lot of popular niggas that we know that we came up on you know it seems like you know niggas are making a lot of rich rap and it just brings to light how much these underground niggas are smashing y'all niggas from upstate. <laughs> y'all niggas in the city, y'all making some some trash music right now. All of y'all niggas is making some trash music. <laughs> I said this on the West Side Gun, I'm going to say it again. Yeah. 
The upstate niggas are smashing y'all niggas. Yeah. Edo, Crime Apple, all of them niggas. You know what I'm probably, saying? Probably, probably the only one really that's holding it down. Well, you really can't even count him. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, uh, your one boy, uh, goddamn, that run with West Side and them. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Flea Lord. Yeah, Flea Lord. Yeah, and he from uh, Far Far Rock. Yeah. So I guess you can, you know, you you really can't. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, you can count them, but you really, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Paul Walker raised a little ways from... A little, little ways. Yeah, like, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even, you know, uh, you know Rock Marcy, you know, he he, he ain't really in the city. Yeah, but, you know, Island. his music is, you know, smack. Like, yeah. I don't understand why y'all ain't really signing these niggas. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? And I seen the video. Y'all seen it, too. Y'all seen the video with Jay Beyond stage talking to Conway and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like... Nigga, you know, you you know, cause you yeah. wouldn't you wouldn't be doing that if if you didn't know these niggas is really about to take over because y'all niggas is 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 you know making some trash albums in work. <laughs> a lot of y'all niggas, a lot of y'all niggas are forcing out stuff, and you know one of those beats yeah. Alchemist did, and it sounds like it sounds like a Griselda beat. One of those you talking about on the on the album, what, yeah, on the like, written testimony. Oh, okay. yeah, it, it sounds oh, yeah, it sounds real. It. It sounds real Derringer, nigga. <laughs> it sounds real Derringer pushed. You know, even yeah, for yeah, Alchemist yeah. to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, yeah. nigga, like that. That shit is trash. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what I'm lost, saying? He, you know, like I said on the on the last one, to me, he kind of lost his mark. Yeah, you know that. You know, that stuff he was doing around that time was the best time to release his It was. It you was. Know, it really was. You know, you then, know? you know, I was pissed that he put, you know, I mean, I loved the song when it came out, but that was like 10 years ago when he yeah. came out with the, the uh, what's that song with the dream? Uh yeah, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Yeah, yeah. He put that. He put that yeah, he on. Put that on put there. That. Yeah. I was like, why you put that record? That, that record like ten years old. That's why, that's why I'm saying a lot of them like, verses on, sounds man. like throwaways. Yeah. Like it should have should have like been he out. Wrote it. He, he already had it yeah. written up. And yeah. he just, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna spit this instead of coming instead with fresh, of coming with some fresh yeah. material and see that you know that ours. Yeah, and hard, nigga. You don't, you don't think niggas is gonna pick up on that, nigga? Nigga, we picked up on that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Take take this whole clip out of the video and just post this little clip right here. You know what I'm saying, nigga? You oh, ain't yeah. J Electronica. You ain't think we was gonna pick up on that, but we yeah. real A and R's. A lot of those verses sounds like throwaways, yeah. nigga. Which you should have did. We gonna make this his own separate. Topic yeah, right here. you should have. You should have got with Royce, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what you should have did. You should have. Really listen to the allegory because it's a way of kicking knowledge and still being lyrical. You know what I'm saying? And and doing your thing yeah. like Royce did. You should have you should have got with Royce, nigga. But them throwaways is trash, nigga. You a trash artist for making niggas wait to hear some throwaway <laughs> bars, nigga. Nobody want to hear that shit, yo. Straight up on the real. Yeah. You ain't think niggas gonna pick up on that. We picked <laughs> up on that, and then you still got our shine from a nigga that don't even have to rhyme anyway. You know what I'm saying? The nigga lyrically murdered you on your own shit. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't even, the nigga don't even understand how the nigga got slaughtered by a nigga. <laughs> Jay's name ain't even on the album. Nah. He, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, he nigga running around like it's cool, nigga. You don't even understand the mentality of how he slaughtered you. You know what I'm saying? On your own shit. And, and getting more views than, than you getting on your own shit. That shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like a, a mental uh, sparta. You know what I'm saying? On the how, how the niggas, niggas don't even they don't pick up on little shit like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They really don't. But yeah, those those are some throwaway bars. I know it's a nigga out there in the studio. They probably not gonna uh, admit it, but I know some some nigga like David Ben or somebody like yo. I, I heard that nigga spit that shit back right. years ago. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I know right. it's somebody he, he out there that off of maybe a song. Yeah, maybe, you know. You know, some of the records that he already had, 
uh, from you know from the last project. Yeah. And put it on this. And one. put it on this. Yeah. Straight up, yeah. Erica Badu probably heard those verses in 2006, <laughs> nigga. After she left, after she left three stacks, nigga, she uh, probably heard ver- heard those verses, man. You're not fooling nobody, nigga. You're trying to pay your child support off of this shit, nigga. You're not fooling nobody, man. We we done heard that shit, them throwaways, straight up. <laughs> on the real. That that whole that whole fucking album is, is a burn album, nigga. I wish I had a, a physical so I could throw it out the window <laughs> right now, man. Cause that's what I wanted to do. I told I told my boy Big Mike, I'm driving at work, man. I was like, I had to I had to switch that. That shit was putting me to sleep. Oh man. I almost fell asleep and, and, and crashed into a yeah. pole listening to that shit. That shit was so boring, man. Like, you know. Like, and then you got all these, you know, uh, Minister Farrakhan before all of these songs and stuff like that, trying to kick knowledge like Pimp the Butterfly. You know, you really tried to make a concept album and it didn't work. It went, yeah. it went the other way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and you know, straight up, like you know, you you really think you know you doing some teaching. You know, you really think you encouraging people to come, you know, to the to the understanding and really nigga, what you did is push them away. Straight up. On the real. So that that whole shit was a burn situation, but you know, Jay slaughtered you on that. And you you know what I'm saying? You should be ashamed for putting out them throwaway verses, nigga. <laughs> on the real. But yeah, like I said, that's a whole burn situation straight up He's, you know really uh i really want y'all to really dig more into the to the underground niggas you know what i'm saying that's out here that i mentioned like you know Edo, crime apple flea lord flea lord dropping, you know what I'm saying? dropping dropping joints yeah david bars you know it's 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 a couple niggas really putting out some excellent excellent work out there you know what i'm saying and y'all stay tuned